Smith, <laughs> person of taxes, and Ranto. <laughs> Are you ready to go? <laughs> Let's go. Well, it's March in Canada. That means it's our new favorite time of the year, tax time. Really weird. I never thought we'd say that tax time is our favorite time of the year. But today we're on a road trip to go and meet our accountant and see maybe what we're going to be getting back from CRA. Today's Saturday and we just came back from our accountant. We were excited about our situation. It sounds a little bit strange, yeah. but he is our new best friend. Best, <laughs> bestie. <laughs> Why do you mention our account? In our situation, it's a little bit different. So we do use our account. I do have a corporation which is, he is responsible for. We also invest the equity of our home. So basically the Smith Maneuver. So he is responsible for doing that and the personal taxes that both of us need to do. Mm -hmm. That's one of the reasons on our, little, our situation is a little bit different, but... Yeah, it just, it he does. knows our entire financial picture. So he knows where we're where we are currently mm -hmm. and where we're trying to go and offers us a lot of great advice along yeah. the way it is going to be really good because this is the third the second year that we have been investing with the smith maneuver so we started our journey back in 2019 2020 we invested for the first year with the smith maneuver with 2021 that was the first full year of investing the first full year and 2022 is the second full year of investment a lot of things happened in 2022. We lost a little bit of money, some capital gains, of course. And we thought, okay, what are gonna be the results? So that's what we wanted to discuss today on this video. If you're looking for what kind of documents do we need? Does it require a lot of time or not? Stick until the end of the video and we're gonna tell you our personal situation. What are our thoughts? Yeah. Okay, go for it. So starting right off with the Smith Maneuver, that's where we are investing the equity from our home here in Toronto. So we pull the money off of our home equity line of credit and we invest it into an investment, a margin account. Yep. All of that money transfers through one bank account and that the sole purpose of that bank account is to handle any money that's being withdrawn off of our home equity line of credit and going into our investments. So for tax season, when it comes to the Smith Maneuver, we need several different documents. We need all of the monthly statements from that particular bank account that shows the movement of the money from the home equity line of credit into our investment accounts. We need the monthly statements from the HELOC that show how much interest we're paying on that loan. And we also need the yearly mortgage statement for our home here in Toronto. In addition to that, we also need the monthly statements for our brokerage account, for our margin account, where all of those dividend paying stocks are being held. Because the other document that we need is also from that margin account, and that's the tax document. That's the T5 slip that comes from the broker that tells us how many dividends we've received, how much in capital gains we've received, and we haven't received any, but it would also show any interest income that your investments have received. All of those documents are what we require to present to our accountant for the Smith Maneuver. Yes. Do you find it so complicated? <laughs> Let us know in the comments below if you want. I'm a visual person. I don't know. Do you want to see like a visual representation of everything? Let us know in the comments below. And on top of that, we have a few videos where we start, you know, showing how everything works. So you can take a look on this video that is going to show up here on your screen. So this is for the Smith, Smith Maneuver. Maneuver. Yeah. The house that I have lived in, sorry, just one thing. We did say dividends. That's our preference in using dividends for investing purposes. Some people might say, can I do it with an ETF? I think that you can. Can I do it with a US stock? I think that you can. The only thing is yeah. from our understanding, it makes more sense the Canadian dividend paying stocks mm -hmm. because of the credits that we do receive yeah. from the government, right? Yeah, the preferential tax treatment that they receive. Yes. So yeah, you, you, that is you receive a break on the amount of tax. That you yeah. Have to yeah. This place that we live, it's also a rental property. So we do live downstairs in House Hacking, I guess that's the name. Uh, we live in the lower unit. Oh, the lower <laughs> unit. 
can't say that it is. It's a lower unit. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe one day we'll take you on a tour. Yeah, why not? Do you want to see where we live? I mean, we know it is in Toronto, yeah. but like surrounding not today, though, the area. Yeah. Clean, guys. No, <laughs> not today. <laughs> All right, rent a unit. What kind of documents do we need for the rent of a unit? So, the reason that we are renting part of our house is it goes back to that same Smith maneuver reasoning, yes. mm -hmm. right? So in Canada, we can't claim the interest that we pay on our mortgage for our principal residence, which is why we're doing the Smith maneuver. Because in Canada, any money that you use for investment purposes, you can claim the interest that you pay on that money as a tax deduction at the end yes. of the year. Mm -hmm. So in addition to the Smith maneuver, we also rent the upper portion, like Shion said. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that allows us to in turn claim a little bit of the interest that we're paying on our principal residence mortgage as yeah. a write off as well, because now 60% of our house is being used for investment or rental purposes. Mm -hmm. For the rental portion of our taxes, we need that annual mortgage statement again. We need all of the bills associated to our address here in Toronto, which include our property tax, our utility bills, hydro, hydro. gas, yep. uh, what else? Internet. Uh. We can claim all of these or a portion of these because the way we rent the unit is all included. So we pay all of the bills mm -hmm. um, and the tenant doesn't have to worry about any of them. But yes. because of that, we are able mm -hmm. to write off 60% of those against our income. Yes, and you might say, why 6 and you know, not 10 or 20 or 30%? It's just the area that we have within our unit. So 60%, which is the area that they have above. So they are responsible for that. And we are, of course, responsible for paying the 40% left. Yeah. So right. that's the rental documents that we need yes. to then take to the accountant. <laughs> yeah. If you only have, for example... I mean, by the way, this is not financial advice. This is yes. what our own experience <laughs> and what we were able to, you know, discuss with our accountants. If you only have your Smith maneuver, you might don't even need, you know, like the rental income and all of this stuff. It's yeah. our... This is a choice we've made. Yeah, we've made, which we do think it makes sense because basically, you know, the money that you receive from our rental, it covers... The interest, the interest from on the that Smith home equity maneuver. line yeah. of credit, so... Yeah. yeah, so that's the second one. How about the third one? I have to turn out the page <laughs> that I can't see. Personal tax. Yeah, personal tax is something that everybody needs to do every year. So we should be very well familiar with this one, but we need our T4s from all of our yes. income that we uh -huh. generate from our work, as well as if, and hopefully everybody is able to, invest into your RRSPs, you need all of those contribution slips, yes. as well as any other, again, banking fees you might be able to claim or interest income that you yeah. might have generated off of your bank accounts and savings accounts, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Then that all needs to come to your accountant as well. If you're paying rent, I believe rent is a deduction that you can take mm -hmm. to your accountant for your personal taxes, yeah. stuff like that. I think there's a bunch of other personal tax credits that you yes. can claim. But again, you need to make sure you have all the receipts to yeah. back them all up. If not, go to the CRA and take a look and mm -hmm. see what the CRA says. We prefer to use our accountant because this is the kind of stuff that we don't need, that yeah. don't, don't want to mess up or, you know, make any... Yeah. Mistakes? Learning opportunity. <laughs> <I laughs> this is a learning opportunity that we don't want. I think when it comes to the CRA or the IRS in the States, uh, yes. they would be considered mistakes. Yeah. <laughs> Very costly ones. So we don't want to make yeah. any of those. No, no, no. We don't and we are happy with our choice. So one of the questions that I have received is, does it take a lot of time, especially for this Smith Maneuver? Is it a lot of time? How do you guys go about that? Yeah, it's easy. Putting that aside and considering that the accountant is kind of responsible for that, we basically do the bookkeeping, which yeah. is every month we just go and we have a spreadsheet where we said, okay, this is the amount that we paid on interest. This is the amount that we've paid on our property tax and so on and so yeah. forth. So that's basically what we do. I don't think that it takes a lot, but at the same time, we did a pre-work before. And the mm -hmm. pre-work that we did was basically having a specific account to transfer the money out of the HELOC to that account. We don't mess up with anything. That's the only reason that we need that account. And it's easy because at the end of the month or at the end of the year, 
we just, you know, get these statements and we know that, It's you nice know, and clean. It's nice and clean. Okay, we also do this only with dividends. Why don't we have an ETF for the same reason? Because it might be the case that your ETFs, you have the ROC or return of capital, which is treated as a capital gain. Yeah. The Smith Manoeuvre account, we only have dividends, so it's clean and easy for us. Yeah, we're very simple people, yeah, so yeah. we like to keep things nice mm -hmm. and easy yeah. and simple for ourselves. Yeah, overall, I don't think that is that difficult, but you do need the due diligence in making sure that you have a separate account for that. Every month, oh, oh, it's That's our, our pizza. pizza guys. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Saturday uh, night is pizza okay, night. Do you want to go and grab it or is it going to turn off? Oh, hang on, let me check and yeah. see if it's burning. Okay. <laughs> So that's the reason to why we use that account for that. And at the same time, every month we see it, you know, we have our talk about our financial situation and what's going on. And we end up, you know, tracking and logging that information into our spreadsheet. So that's basically why I don't think that it takes a lot of work to do it. If you decided to do less minutes, so you might end up forgetting something. Three more minutes on the pizza. Yes. <laughs> okay. Do you want to know the recipe? <laughs> okay, it's nice and easy. That's basically it. I hope that you have all your documents ready yeah. by now. We hope that, you know, you provide your documents, you receive your money back. CRA is not paying you back. It's just returning the money that you already gave, you them. Know, gave them. So, and it's really important. I think that's the biggest thing that we've learned. Uh, I know a few people that haven't filed their taxes in several years. Yeah. And if you, for whatever reason, end up owing the CRA any money, they will be charging you interest from the day yes. they yeah. make that calculation. So please make sure you file your taxes every year on time. I think this year's deadline oh. is April 4th for us here in Canada. Mm -hmm. It just makes your life easier. Yes. And hey, if you get some of that money back, where's the best place to put it? Back into your investments, into your TFSA, your RRSP, somewhere like that, on yes. your mortgage, all sorts mm -hmm. of great places that could benefit from a yeah. little extra yeah. cash. That's what we do. I mean, we are happy, especially with this Smith Maneuver. I mean, it's under, you know, Chris Sims' name because, I mean, there's a bunch of stuff behind yeah. that. But at the end of the day, we are receiving, you know, I don't know. In a month, we're going to figure it out. But yeah. it should be but, a nice return this year. Yeah, sorry. But last year, we did, you did receive, mm -hmm. you know, like a... A very healthy return. Yes. <laughs> We hope that you are well, we hope that you are safe, and we will see you in our next video. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Oh, I okay. did the thing today, too. Yeah. You want to take a picture of the pizza? Mm. <laughs> no. You can show it at the end on your bloopers. <laughs> you have to see. I'm going to take a picture <laughs> of the pizza. Share in the comments below. In our next video, I'm going to show the picture. <laughs> Bye. Oh, I wonder if it's still recording. I hope so. Oh, look at that. It is. Good. It's tax season in Canada, and the guy is saying hi. <laughs> <laughs> and the tax season in Canada, and the... Well, now I lost what I was going to say. I think, well... <laughs> Putting that aside, you know, and considering... <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> I'm tickling my throat. Yeah. And Sorry, the, how many? Uh, one medium double-double. Okay. And one medium steep tea with two milk, please. That's everything? Yes. That's everything. Thank you. Welcome. Hi. Hello. Hi. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, my goodness. I'm so sorry. Ah.